if you have no spark in your Jeep, the first thing you need to do is check the wiring under the dash. Uh, all all Jeeps will have a key switch under the dash. You know, the switch will, the key will poke out the dash. And then in the back is a bunch of posts. The f one post will be your power coming in. And then you'll have, uh, that'll be your battery terminal. You'll also usually have an accessory terminal, an ignition, and then if your key switches starts the Jeep, you'll have a start feature. Now, off the ignition switch, you make sure you have power up to the battery terminal. And then there will be a wire going from the ignition terminal out to your coil. All right, from the key switch, the coil terminal, or the ignition terminal, will go to the positive side of your coil. Now on the coil, out on, on the motor, uh, most Jeep, Jeeps used ones with an internal resistor. If you go to your auto parts store, most of the time you'll get one with an external resistor. And with the external resistor, you'll have to use this porcelain block on the firewall. So that wire will then come to one terminal, go out, and then come over to the positive side of the coil. And what this does is it reduces the voltage. Um, usually on uh, the coil, it'll tell you if you use it, uh, use without external resistor. That means that you will not use this porcelain block. If it's unmarked, it's probably one to use with this external resistor, but it's hard to tell because over the years, this gets wore off or the paint comes off and you don't know what to do. If uh, if you're having trouble with your points burning up all the time, it's usually because it's one that uh, should use this porcelain block on the firewall. Um, or if you're burning out coils, it, it'll use this porcelain block. But if you buy a coil from us, it'll be one with the internal, uh, internal resistor built in the coil. Inside the distributor, you with a points distributor distributor you will have one wire coming out and this is a ground wire and what will happen is the power coming in here will come to your point set inside and when that point set closes that tells it to fire so on the coil you'll take the the negative terminal and hook this wire up to that negative terminal and all it does is it completes the circuit when this rotor spins around. Like if it's a four cylinder, the points will open and close four times in a revolution. And then that, that tells the coil to fire to the distributor. And uh, if you have an electronic ignition in it, you'll have two wires coming out. Usually they're marked. One will be the negative, and then the other one will go to the positive to power the module inside. So. Those are the first steps you need to take to troubleshoot why it isn't firing. Uh, MB and CJ2A three quarter inch bell crank kits. Uh, to hold the pin up and the bracket on the frame, there's a little wedge pin. And all you do is stick the wedge pin in there and hammer it in. And a lot of people are nervous on that because of the, if the wedge pin falls out and your bell crank pin falls on, you lose your steering. Uh, and so we came out with a wedge pin with threads on it uh, so that you can put the wedge pin on and we had a special washer made to fit up against the bell crank bracket that goes on and then the lock washer and the nut uh, so when you put your wedge pin in the thread part sticks out the other end and then you can put a nut and stuff on and tighten it up so that the, you don't have to worry about the wedge falling out uh, these are also USA made and uh, these fit the, the MBs and, and almost all the 2As up into late 48. And uh, they come in, in all, all our bell crank kits for the three quarter inch bell cranks. And we also are using better bearings than what was in these kits before. Uh, they're a lot closer to the bearings that ran them from years ago. A lot of these newer kits now only have half the number of needles inside the bearing, but we got some of these bearings again to have needles all the way around instead of having spaces in between the needles. So, cause it's a steering part and they always are, tend to wear out quite fast. 
so it gives it a little better of a kit uh, costs a little bit more maybe than other kits on the market but you're getting a little bit more uh, quality of part and stuff on this uh, 915762 is the part number on our bell crank kit uh, that gives you the pin the bearings and uh, and the seals and the nut and the washer 